everybody welcome to exotic astrology and today we will start discussing on the most awaited video of the year so finally after so many requests i have let it out quite early so today we are going to discuss on the results of what is going to happen when jupiter transits into the sign of scorpio the most discussed the most talked the most fantasized zodiac sign of all all right so if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want to know how this jupiter transit is going to help you and which are the areas you will get opportunities depending on your ascendant and moon sign and if you want to know what the effects it will have personally in your life depending on the dasha and other combinations in your chart then you can please go to my website and book a reading with me you will find the website in the description of this video below and i will also put it in the comments all right and if you don't know what i say then please write it in the comments god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him all right so let's start so before we go into the description of each and every zodiac sign let us first understand what this energy is so now jupiter is currently in the sign of libra where it is showing its positivity and then it's going to go into the zodiac sign of scorpio now what's going to happen from libra when a planet goes to scorpio what happens is libra is the sign where we meet other people where we discuss ideas where we learn about the other person so for example it's the original seventh house of the zodiac which shows unionship people coming together so when we are in libra and wherever jupiter transits for that year people become interested in that topic so when jupiter transits in libra what happens is people get more interested into things like collaboration relationships and many people have started their own business joining hands with people many people have done it i, I know so now when it enters the sign of scorpio what happens is we will see that now those connections which we made during the last year we will now strengthen it more we will more deepen it we will intensify it more because scorpio is the sign of intensity it is the sign of the it's the original eighth house where things become very strong our deepest inner feelings come out that's what the sign of scorpio is so now we will have an experience that people are getting more and more interested into hidden, hidden things like occult mysticism spirituality astrology because all these things are under the realm of the eighth house and apart from that what's going to happen is people are going to go deep into whatever they are doing because scorpio also signifies research and to go deep you need to research and then only you will understand how things are scorpio doesn't like things which are superficially floating in the realm scorpio says i want to know things deep i want to know the root of everything and finally when it enters sagittarius in the nakshatra of mula it finds the root of everything okay so when jupiter will transit into scorpio this will be a very beautiful journey where it will uncover many secrets and many of the hidden desires which we have and it will bless those areas depending on wherever the sign of scorpio is falling in our chart all right from the ascendant and then we will feel more positivity towards those areas why do i say more positivity because jupiter is the greatest benefit it is the greatest benefit because it rules the original ninth house of sagittarius which is known as the house of religion and spirituality it's known as the house of bhagya is the house of dharma so wherever jupiter transits in your chart for that year that house gets blessed and from there it will also aspect the 7th house the 5th house and the 9th house of course we all know that jupiter has three aspects okay so now jupiter will be first entering as now it is in the nakshatra of swati and then it will enter vishakha and till the end of the year almost it will stay in the nakshatra of vishakha because the fourth pada of vishakha also falls in the zodiac sign of scorpio so when it's in swati we are trying to figure out the different options which are there i have already made videos on this topic and i will put the, the videos in the description below you can watch them and then when it enters vishakha on august this year august 
then we will see that now we are finally narrowing down things and then finally by the end of the year when it enters anuradha we will see that it we will narrow down those different paths into one single path whichever houses jupiter is transiting all right so there you go let's start and before i say many people will ask this question that should we see the transits from the lagna or the moon sign that is a question which will always be asked so the answer is very simple we need to see it from both so let me give you an example uh, take the example of scorpio ascendants okay so suppose you are a scorpio ascendant then jupiter is transiting is going to transit by your first house which is your lagna your ascendant and suppose your moon sign is libra suppose okay and then your jupiter will transit the second house from your moon sign so now what happens is wherever jupiter is transiting by the ascendant you will see physical things manifesting there physical expansion will be more in that area so for example if jupiter transits the fifth house for somebody from the lagna we will discuss about that then we will see that things pertaining to fifth house which is what creativity love romance children those opportunities will come birth of a child can happen during this time but suppose from the moon it is transiting the ninth house then it can happen that although these things are happening externally suppose you are having birth of a child but because from the moon sign it is transiting the ninth house it can happen that internally emotionally moon shows that which is internal you might feel that oh now i need to connect to god more now i need to connect to spirituality more now i need to understand this world better now i need to understand how god has created this world and who god is yes we we need to uh, understand that because internally that is how the programming is happening and therefore it is very important that we see both these signs okay just don't only see the ascendant sign or the moon sign just check the both these signs all right so now you uh, let's start so first let's start with the <laughs> scorpio ascendant itself because now jupiter is transiting in your 12th house and starting october it will enter your first house it will enter your ascendant it will enter your lagna itself and because for scorpio jupiter is a very auspicious planet all also by house rulership so this is a fantastic time for you this will only come after 12 years again so do not miss this period so whenever jupiter enters the kendra and especially the lagna it is a very 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 good time because that is the time when all the people especially now scorpio ascendants they will feel very positive about themselves because the lagna also shows the intelligence and when jupiter enters the house of intelligence we become very optimistic about life we become very much hopeful so now if we had any plans of doing something new anything new it can be marriage it can be some uh, new startup which we plan to open it can be uh, making a relationship with a friend or it can be traveling to a foreign place or it can be joining a new course or maybe starting to learn astrology anything it can be so whatever you plan in this year make sure you execute it after jupiter enters the sign of scorpio it is going to be very beautiful because what happens is when jupiter enters the lagna whatever you do in life you feel very positive because the lagna governs your whole life it's the ascendant it's where that is what which defines you so whatever you do in life you will always feel that there's god who is blessing you so because so it's like saying god is sitting over your head you will always feel that some way or the other by some means or the other things are happening for you and when jupiter transits the first house it is naturally seen and i have seen this time and again in my experience that you will get a phone call and some guru will call you and say oh there's this program here would you like to come this satsang program you are having or maybe youtube suggests you some spiritual uh, content in your channel that will happen so automatically spiritual progress will come to you don't you don't have to go anywhere automatically that is coming to you because lagna is your body okay so please use this time this will come only once in 12 years again after 12 years it will come as i said already so this is the best time you are the luckiest people for the entire 2019 because jupiter will graciously bless you in your lagna itself okay so please use this time properly and if you want to make up something which you have damaged 
for example if you have damaged your relationship with somebody your father your mother or with somebody else or with your wife or with your husband or with your girlfriend then this is the time that you make up the relationship all right and if you are thinking that you need to repair something in your life then also you can do all the repair all the success will be there at your command and the mic will be in your hands whatever you say will prevail all right so good luck to all these copy ascendants fantastic time it's all auspicious all auspicious all auspicious for scorpio lagna people okay so now let's discuss for libra lagna so for libra ascendants or for libra moon sign whatever you call it jupiter has now been transiting into your first house and now it is going to leave the first house and enter the second house what's the second house second house is the house primarily of wealth it's the house which sustains us it is known as the hari house is the it's known as the house of hari hari means that which sustains us and hari also refers to lord narayan because lord narayan ultimately sustains all of us so now when jupiter enters the second house we will be able to grow in the areas of our sustenance which means that if we have some plans to grow ourselves monetarily this is the best time to do that if we have some plans to do savings open accounts where we can put our money investments this is the best time best time you can have no better time than this you can get even if it transits the 11th house but that's the house of income but this is the house of savings so this is the best time to save some money okay and then second house is also the house of food so libra people can find themselves that they are delighting too much in food and jupiter venus represents all the sweet things in life so it can happen that you are enjoying lot of sweet delicacies delicacies and you might find uh, yourself uh going to different restaurants eating different kinds of food and scorpio is a very exotic sign so you will uh, see that you are trying different kinds of dishes different kind of uh foods from different ethnic backgrounds okay and your speech will become very refined because second house is also the house of speech and because of that people will start liking you yes that happens because second house ultimately also shows our combined relationships seventh house is marriage 11th house is friends and second house shows all the relationships that we have so when jupiter transits the second house it is a very good time to strengthen our existing connections with people and also make new connections okay and if you have some problem in your teeth because second house also represents the teeth then you can uh, go and check with the doctor because now you will get all the blessings you will get the treatments which is necessary you will get all the help from the society jupiter moon also represents the society so when jupiter will transit your second house if you are not able to find cure for some problem which is in your teeth or in your mouth or any part of that area then you will now definitely find cure all right so it is also a very good time for you please use this to make money and enjoy food especially libra people okay So now after discussing about Libra let us move on to the next ascendant. So now let's talk of Virgo people. What's happening to Virgo? Virgo now Jupiter will transit the third house. And what is the third house? Third house is the house of creativity. Third house is the house of short distance travels. Third house is also the house of Guru Diksha. It's the house of initiation because it's the 7th from the 9th house. and it is also having link with the 11th house because 11th house and the third house are in trines to each other therefore 11th house shows social connections 7th house shows our partners and third house also shows our way of interacting with people because third house is also the house of our subconscious mind so now when jupiter is transiting the third house for all the virgo people it is a fantastic time to take something new because third house is the house of new initiatives new creativity if you are planning to open a startup or any kind of an entrepreneurship wow 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 this is the best time you won't get any better time than this okay and apart from that if you are planning to uh, go to any place which is nearby or even uh, to long distance travels this is also very good time for that because 
when jupiter transits the third house and when you travel during that time you feel very blessed this is a great time to take uh, teerth yatras holy uh, voyage as they say if you are muslim watching this then you might decide to go to uh, makkah or wherever you want or if you are a hindu watching this maybe you uh, you might think to go to rameshwaram or kanchipuram or badrinath or any other holy place whatever suits you and then you will find great peace great solace there and third house is also the house of younger siblings so when jupiter is transiting the house of younger siblings it is a great time to enhance and enrich our relationship with them because the house will show how we are interacting with the uh, person who is related to that house so suppose we have a younger brother or a younger sister and our relationship is not that great with that person if it is like that then now we can ensure that we can talk with the person we can try to understand what he or she is telling yes and if our relationship is very good already then we can still talk with them and improve our relationship and by that we will see that we are also gaining lot of happiness because wherever jupiter transits that house will give you happiness so now is the time that you go out with your younger siblings you travel with them you go uh, to holy places or to any other picnic places yes and it is also the house of creativity so you can start learning the harmonium maybe <laughs> you can start learning uh, the guitar maybe you can start learning anything whatever you want yes try it at least try you may not perfect it but you will still be able to uh, do great things because third house also in one way shows our hands yes the hands are shown by the third house so best time if you want to repair something if you are a mechanic if you are planning to repair something or you are planning to write something then that is also fantastic time because third house is the house of hands so you write with hands or you type and you upload it to amazon ebook <laughs> so whatever you are planning to do do it yes and if you plan to give a big speech and attract people to you that is also fantastic that also can be done all right and if you want to do anything new in general new endeavors you will always be successful in this regard and even if there are some issues or problems or setbacks you will feel that i will be able to go through this without much difficulty okay so that's the best thing uh, when it comes to the third house all the new initiatives and new endeavors will be blessed and now let's go to leo so for leo ascendant or moon sign people what's happening jupiter is again transiting in your kendra yes after 3 years from the time it had been in leo and now it's again transiting so what's the fourth house fourth house is a very important house of the horoscope fourth house represents our comforts fourth house represents the mother fourth house will represent anything that gives us the feeling of being in home so suppose you go to a restaurant and you feel like you are at home why because the manager of the restaurant is very good so then that's like saying oh i am home okay and fourth house is the house of vehicles comforts luxuries cars all these things are seen from the fourth house so now is a very good time if you are thinking to buy a car this is the best time you can do that because now not only you can buy the car you you will also be able to gain happiness from that car you will also gain lot of prosperity and lot of name fame recognition even if you don't buy a bentley or a bmw <laughs> you will still get lot of happiness from it and that's what is required right and apart from that fourth house is also the house of our heart so if there are some things which are lingering us inside if we are thinking that this is bogging us too much then that's a very good time to work on it to clean our heart if you are planning to take some kind of healing then it's a very good time because fourth house also shows things related to healing because most of the problems are solved when the internal conflicts are resolved okay so it's a very good time and especially if you are planning to decorate the home or take a new home fourth house is home this is a very good time if you are planning to do griha pravesh if the home is in your name fantastic you can do it what all can i say buy new cars or if you are outside of your country and you are planning to take a visit to your country and if you are a leo lagna by some means watching this then this is a very good time to 
go to your homeland to your motherland and see your parents there if they are there or if they are with you that's fantastic but if they are not then please go and see your mother and go and embrace her and say yeah my dear mother i love you <laughs> okay so it's a fantastic time and if you're planning to change something inside your home suppose you are planning that oh now i will change the curtains i will do something new in my home i'll put new paintings or antique things because scorpio shows those things which are antique yes old things those things now you can put in your home you can see that those things will give you a lot of happiness the moment somebody comes they will say wow your house is so beautiful your home is too good your home is amazing that's what they are going to say and you when you come home from the office now the next one year try to be in home more because jupiter will give you a lot of happiness there you will certainly feel that oh my family is very good they are very supportive they are they are always understanding me you will certainly feel like that and if you if you have anybody who is like your mother your own mother or somebody else some auntie or some teacher or whoever then you can also go and embrace them and say thank you and you can also try to help them okay so for leo people fantastic time it is also it is transiting the kendra okay so please use this benefic energy in the fourth house and be happy your heart will be happy okay so very nice time so then let's talk of cancer people so for you it is transiting the fifth house my god <laughs> for cancer it is transiting the fifth house of love romance children happiness fifth house is the reason we get up in the morning yes people don't know this sometimes fifth house shows what we love to do in this world okay so when jupiter transits the fifth house it is the best 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 period i would say why because now we will feel more optimistic about life in general jupiter's transit in the fifth house is even better than the transit in the first house because the first house will show only the body but the fifth house shows why we are living yes that is why it's the house of love whichever planet is in the fifth house we love that planet we love things related to that planet okay so now when jupiter enters your fifth house you will see that you have become very 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 creative things related to creativity will come into your forefront you will suddenly become very artistic you will say that oh now i am going to do this painting nobody can stop me <laughs> now i am suddenly going to change things you will change your clothes your appearance your dress all these things also come under the fifth house if you love to do it hopefully <laughs> and suppose you are working on a project which you love very much or you are developing a community or you have a youtube channel or you are planning to get a promotion fifth house is the house of promotions this is the best time to ask your boss for a promotion if you are an employee and if you are already in a business and if you are the uh, owner of the business then it's a time to expand your business it is a time to grow your business and to take it to such heights that nobody can imagine because fifth house has the original sign of leo as we know leo is the sign of power authority post position okay so whatever is happening in your life try to grow it try to visualize it fifth house is the house of vision fifth house tells you what you want to do in future what you want to achieve in life that's the motivating factor that's why i said it is the house which makes you get up in the morning and that decides the course of the day so every morning as you get up you can always write things you can take a journal you can main, maintain a gratitude journal you can write what god has given you what your mother has given what your father has given what your husband has given what your wife has given what your friends have given you we have so many blessings to count yes and most importantly fifth house is primarily the house of mantras okay and apart from that it is also the house of children as we know so if you are planning to have children this is the best time you won't get a better time than this okay so utilize this time have beautiful kids and you can send their photos to me also <laughs> in my facebook okay and apart from that if you are single and if you are planning to date somebody then this is also the best time you can go and date and if you are planning to start chanting some new mantras this is also the best time because fifth house rules all these significations okay so for mantras for love romance creativity children promotion doing something big in life 
that's what is the fifth house yes so do good activities the best thing cancer people can do now is do what you love just do what you love you love somebody go and tell them you love something do it more you love to go to a place go there you love to chant mantras do it you love your guru call him and tell them yes my dear guru maharaj i love you <laughs> okay and if you love yourself you can always do that you can change your wardrobe you can take new dresses you can get a new new haircut which obviously will do in one year but you can do whatever you like if you like to stay in the home just do it if you like to work 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 then do it okay so cancer people very lucky finally jupiter is entering your fifth house so now let's see what is going to happen for the next group of ascendants which is gemini so now for gemini jupiter will enter the sixth house now what is the sixth house sixth house as we know is the house of our health is the house of enemies court cases diseases all these things are represented by the sixth house so now if there is something which we have been working very hard on because sixth house will represent those areas where we might have to work very hard so those areas where we have been working very hard now is the time to take it into completion now is the time to finalize it to complete it to end it and now is the time we will receive the blessings of jupiter in those areas so basically what happens when jupiter transits the sixth house the work because sixth house represents our daily work sometimes the daily work feels like burden but now when jupiter enters the sixth house we will feel that that house has become very lively you will see that the gemini lagna people or gemini moon sign whatever you call it you will see that suddenly they have uh, developed more attraction towards working okay this is the best time to work hard in life so last year jupiter had been in libra in your fifth house and now it's telling enough of the enjoyment fun creativity now it's time to work okay apart from that it is also a very good time to focus on your health because fifth house is the house of love and romance and all this but when it goes to sixth house you have to focus on your health now yes over over indulgences can be dangerous sometimes so whenever you are eating something make sure you are uh, eating the right kind of foods okay try to avoid too many sugary products especially because jupiter venus represents sweet things so uh, we can eat sweet things like the tirupati laddu we can eat of course but we need to ensure that we do not uh, take too many sweet items okay and apart from that if we have a dispute with somebody difference of opinion which is also coming from the sixth house then it's a very good time that we try to negotiate now okay so what happens when we try to negotiate is because jupiter is blessing the sixth house it can show that our enemies are vanished vanished doesn't mean they perish but it can happen that our enmity with them is perished so because of that they can become our friends now that will depend on the horoscope what you are facing and what things can go on and now if you are planning to join the gym wow best time this is because this is the house of health so you will focus and you must and you need to focus in the areas of your health okay so if you think that you have got some uh, flaps <laughs> or eight packs or nine packs in your body family pack or you want to shape up particular part of your body or you want to focus on your health in general or you want to take some new kind of treatment suppose ayurveda is working for you but allopathy is not or suppose allopathy is not working homeopathy is working then now is the time you can try different things and you can help yourself you can explore the area of health you can see what foods you like what foods you don't like you can make a list of what you think can be good for you not according to what you think according to what the doctor says okay so now if you have not gone to a doctor for a full body checkup for a long time this is a very good time to visit okay so make sure you visit the doctor now at least not that you have some problem but just to have a check on your health because anything can be there who knows because health is wealth always remember that okay and if you are planning to shift to a new place and do some yoga or go to uh, go to a walk in the morning or go to running in the mountains 
fantastic it is physical activity hard work so for gemini people the lesson is we need to do hard work focus in life and ultimately sixth house is also representing money so it also shows our monetary gains in one way of course so it is also a good time to work on things related to money okay and then let's go to taurus lagna for taurus jupiter is going to now transit into your seventh house yes 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 taurus ascendance anybody watching this so now is the time to get married if you are single yes congratulations maybe your photo comes up somewhere in facebook please show it to me if you get married during this year okay so seventh house as we know is primarily the house of marriage and connections with other people so when jupiter is transiting the seventh house if we are single we can look out for other people if you are planning to get married of course and if we are not planning to get married if you just want to date somebody then also it is a fantastic time because we will get a lot of opportunities now whenever jupiter transits the 7th house then what happens is that area of other people become very lively in our chart in our life so because of that the opposite sex will notice us suppose you are a man watching this you might you might find a girl coming up to you and say hey you are looking handsome <laughs> and if you are a woman watching this then you might find somebody coming out of the blue and saying hey you look so beautiful <laughs> okay so that's what happens and then you get more opportunities and now suppose you are already married then what to do do you get married again no you need to strengthen your relationship with your partner with your husband with your wife with your with your boyfriend with your girlfriend or whoever that person is all existing connections are ruled by the 7th house all the existing connections the entire kama ayana kama ayana means all the uh, desires they come from the 7th house so jupiter's transit in 7th house is also a transit in the kendra as we know 1 4 7 10 are parts of the kendra and from there it is going to aspect your lagna so fantastic time it is you will not get a better time to improve your connections with people now if you are a businessman and you are married and you are happy and your marriage is fine and your business is also going good try to make more collaborations with people suppose you have a youtube channel and you are a taurus lagna who is watching this then you can definitely invite other people to collaborate with you you can definitely invite those people especially who have lesser subscribers than you suppose you have 50000 subscribers or you have 5000 subscribers and somebody has only 100 or 200 subscribers you can invite them because when you do good things for them so when they will come to your channel they will get recognition and then people will go and subscribe to their channel yes so then because you did something good for them when their turn comes they will also end up doing good things for you or even if they don't do but jupiter will reward you because it is the planet of a wisdom and spirituality and divinity and also it is a very good time that we can go and talk about spirituality with the other party which means that if you are married then we might do spiritual activities within our home we can try to sanctify the atmosphere by chanting mantras with our wife or with our husband or with anybody or maybe you can go to a teeth yatra with your friend to a holy retreat yes satsang programs now rath yatra is going on in jagannath puri so these kind of things you can do with your partner okay and in general you can make more connections do more things with people together not individually do things with people and that will give you a lot of success okay and ultimately seventh house shows how we interact with people so if we are having some difficulties with somebody it can be anybody with our spouse or with our friends or with somebody it is a good time that we now work on those and now because it is transiting the 7th house whatever difficulties we are facing with anybody any people in general those things will improve now i am not saying that if there is some problem it will be resolved or maybe it gets resolved but we can at least do our own part as lord krishna says in the gita that do your part and leave the rest all right so for taurus it's a very good time and if you are planning to get married my thumbs up <laughs> okay so let's go to aries now so for aries jupiter is transiting the 
Hey Taos. Yes, yes, yes. Finally. So when Jupiter enters the eighth house, what happens is you suddenly develop a lot of interest towards hidden things like mysticism, occult, religion, spirituality, divinity. You will develop interest towards those things which nobody has ever thought of. Like who created this universe? Did it came from a big bang or did God created it? If there is God, then why is there so many religions? What's all this things, universe? What's all this astrology? Yes. So if you are an Aries Lagna or an Aries Moon sign watching this, and if you are just stepping into astrology, for example, then it is the best time for you to go deep into astrology. If you have started a new spiritual practice, this is the best time to go and learn the basics. Okay. And this is the best time to understand yourself basically. Eighth house will show all those things which you you are obsessed about. I want this, I want that, I want him, I want her. So now you need to understand who you are internally as a person. You need to understand what you want in life. Okay. So this can be a very good time if you want to focus on yourself. Do some meditation do some spiritual practice and apart from that eighth house is also the second house from the seventh house because of that it will show gains with other people which means that if you are already having some joint uh, group for example you and your wife you have a company then now you can do joint investments eighth house is also the house of lottery certain gains those things can happen depending on the dasha and other transits how it is affecting you and how what you want to do in life and what overall the chart is saying okay so if those ideas are there in your head it is very important that you put them put them into place now okay and especially this is a very good time to connect to yourself and try to listen what your mind is telling you suppose there's an idea which you think that i should be working upon but due to some reason or the other you are always like oh maybe i'll do it tomorrow maybe let's do it next year no you need to do it now okay and from there it will aspect the 12th house of spirituality and the second house of wealth and the fourth house of your inner comforts so take a pen and a paper and write down what are the things that you need otherwise those things will keep eating you always so now is the time that you get freedom from all those things okay so this is how we can see how the jupiter's transit for aries people will do actually very good to them depending on the dasha and other things of course in the chart so my suggestion to aries people would be whatever you are doing just continue do it continue doing it and please seek higher guidance if you need okay because eighth house is the house of darkness as this is so because of that what can happen sometimes you might feel confused but the best thing is not that you are feeling confused the best thing is now when you are feeling confused if you feel confused you will see that divine help is coming to you divine help doesn't mean that something out of the air pops up and things change it means that when you seek help you get the help that's what is the meaning of divine help okay because uh, one of the definitions of intelligence is you know what to do when you don't know what to do should i repeat intelligence means you know what to do when you don't know what to do so suppose you are confused about one area in life and you don't know what to do then you know where to go if you do not get those answers so now you will figure out what do i do if i do not know what to do okay seems confusing no don't worry you will find the answers and please do proper meditation and sadhana and read the scriptures that will very much help you and it will help you to get rid of the confusion which you might face okay and now let's talk of the next group so let's talk of pisces now so for pisces my god <laughs> it's transiting the ninth house ninth house is the house of god is the house of spirituality is the house of wisdom gurus divine enlightenment my god wow Pisces people very lucky <laughs> so if you are planning to start a PhD because ninth house also shows higher education fourth house fifth house and ninth house these three are primary houses of education so if you are planning to start a PhD or if you are planning to start your masters 
wow this is the best time you must do it okay and now suppose you are doing a phd and you feel that somehow your guide is not supportive with you the, your guide is not cooperating much with you then now you will feel that oh certainly the guide is started responding because ninth house is the house of guides ninth house is showing anybody who tells you what to do when you don't know what to do okay so when you go to a guide you will now get the right guidance now is the time you can take consultations from astrologers from whomever you feel benefited because wherever whenever jupiter transits the first fifth or ninth it's a very good time to take higher guidance if you are confused about some area in life you can go and talk to your guru or you can go and talk to a counselor if you are thinking to change your career line then you can go and talk to a career counselor that person will help you now and now suppose you already have an existing guru you have your guides now is the time that you strengthen the connections with them and how do we do that well we can do it let's read the scriptures let's chant mantras whatever our guru has prescribed for us and then by that when we continue doing that we will see that we are feeling very much enlightened because ninth house is the house of enlightenment and when the ninth house says that oh i will bless you now it's like saying god himself is coming and blessing you so this is the best time to gain knowledge to gain knowledge of the divine is the best time to read scriptures like the gita the shrimad bhagavatam the quran or the bible or whatever religion you are following it's the best time to connect with your gurus it's the best time to go and have one and on uh, one to one chat discussion with your guru about the universe about who created this world about what are the secrets of the scriptures yes this is the best time and that too it's a water sign in your ninth house fantastic time it is so pisces people are equally lucky like the cancer lagna people okay and if you are thinking that your relationship with your father is not that great so now is the time pisces lagna people should go and start talking to your father and try to improve your relationship because ninth house is also the house of your father and it can also happen that your father can end up getting some kind of a promotion raise in his status name fame all these things can happen with your father or your relationship with your father can improve or his relationship or he might take take into spirituality that can also happen because jupiter is now coming divine things are now coming to the ninth house which is the house of your father okay and ninth house also shows divine pilgrimages teerth yatras as we say in sanskrit so if you are in south you might go to badrinath in india and if you are in north you are somewhere in nepal then you might want to visit rameshwaram in south india sometimes please go to kanchipuram also do not go uh, do not return from south india without visiting kanchipuram and if you are in east you might visit dwarka and if you are in the west you might visit jagannath puri yes please visit these places and if you are in central part of india where you can visit wherever you want or if you are in us or canada all the places are open for you okay so this is the best time to connect to god chant mantras meditate understand the divine arrangement as they say and when you do that you will see that your life has improved many 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 times and then you will realize that there is more to life other than my family and my work my money my friends okay so it's a great time to enjoy life basically why i'm saying that because from the ninth house it will also aspect the lagna and it will also aspect the fifth house okay so it's a very good time to do things which you love and also bring positivity into your life in general okay it's a very good time and take help from your gurus take help from your guides your counselors and take help from them and by that you will be able to cross over any difficulty which you might be facing in life okay so let's talk of the next group of ascendants now aquarius yes so now jupiter is transiting in your ninth house and after jupiter enters scorpio it will transit in your 10th house fantastic time it is so all sorts of blessings will come in your career 10th house is the house where 
sun obtains his directional strength sun gets digbali there as we know it's the 10th house it's known as the mid heaven is the time where the sun is the strongest because of that now is the time that you do something big in life you try to impact people you try to impact the society in general by good means of course and by by that you will see that all your efforts are been recognized and you will see the results of all the beautiful things so if you had been working on a project for very long time wow now is the time you will see results so now is the time you will put 10 times more effort why you will put automatically because you will start seeing the results so suppose if you have a channel in youtube for example and you if you have some subscribers and if you are aquarius lagna now you will see my god subscribers are going high because wherever jupiter will transit people will see you advancing to related to that house so whenever jupiter transits the 10th house you will feel that people are becoming very much aware of your progress in the areas of the 10th house which means that people will start thinking he is a big man now she has done something very big even if it is not that big but people will still feel it's very big and that will happen and when jupiter enters the 10th house because it is the natural benefic it shows that you will overall do many good activities in life which means that you will become a very good person in general because the 10th house dominates the chart that means for the next one year you will be doing the best of the best of the best activities you will also be able to guide others in your field it is a time for promotion it is a time to get a job it is a time to work on something which you wanted to work always okay so if you are planning to change your workplace if you are planning to become an entrepreneur well 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 this is the best time there's no better time than this so because of this now you will think that i will get success in this area and you will want to work 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 and all the blessings will be there and you will definitely get a raise in status your name and fame will increase that is going to happen without doubt without doubt i'm saying aquarius people very 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 lucky okay so please use this time guide others do good activities and take promotions and open new things and do something big in life <laughs> everybody will notice you in this one year everybody will see that look this person is doing something big all right now the next group is capricorn 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 yes so for capricorn jupiter is in your 10th house now and in october it is going to enter the 11th house 11th house is the house of networks gains associations social connections daily income 11th house is the most important house in kaliyuga in today because it's the house of fulfillment of desire any kind of desire material spiritual any kind of desire desire to learn spirituality astrology that is also a desire and primarily it's the house of our daily income so now your income will shoot it will go up <laughs> new new avenues for income will start coming you will see that this person calls you and says hey i want to do this with you are you ready and you will be like ha huh? <laughs> from where did this person come to know that i am doing this no but they will come to know because jupiter is entering your 11th house okay nothing nothing can uh, stop you now from rising and 11th house is the gain of the 10th house yes so whatever efforts you were doing in your career now you will see results of those activities okay so for capricorn it is the best time to develop new connections do good things for people 11th house is also the house of donations charities people say 12th house but 11th house also has a link to it so now is the best time that you give money back also to society not only just take because now you'll have a lot of money so you should also give to people contribute back to the society who has given you things okay if you are planning to give donations to your guru or to anybody else this is the best time do it and apart from that you will obtain all round success 
Jupiter transit in the 11th house is all round success, all round prosperity. There is nothing else to be said regarding this. Whatever you do is a thumbs up. Health, thumbs up. Marriage, thumbs up. You can also get married. 11th house is also the house of marriage. You can also have children. 11th house is yes, 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 yes. Anything you want, simply yes. <laughs> Depending on the dasha, of course. What dasha you are running and what uh, time period you are facing. All right. So that is it for Capricorn. So whatever you want to do in life, just do it. You will obtain full blessings because from the 11th house it is aspecting the 5th house 5th house is the house of purva punya as we know past life good deeds okay so utilize this time and if you have an elder sibling then it's a very good time to develop our relationship with that sibling okay and then we can also try to join some new spiritual organization because 11th house shows our association so when jupiter transits the 11th house it can show that we have started developing a desire towards joining a spiritual organization. If you are in foreign lands, you can do that somewhere. Or if you are in India, you can also do that wherever you are. <laughs> okay. So, very good time. It's like all round prosperity and thumbs up. Capricorn, congratulations. <laughs> and then, who is remaining? The last. Oh my God. Sagittarius remains, you see. And for Sagittarius, Jupiter will transit the 12th house now yes 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 jupiter is the ruler of your ascendant and it is entering the 12th house 12th house is the house of seclusion is the house of spirituality 12th house is the house of donations yes so now is a very beautiful time to give things to people now is a time where you can release things now is a time where you can decide what to keep in life and what not to keep. Why I am saying this? Not because it's the 12th house. Because after one year, by the end of 2019, Jupiter will enter Sagittarius, which is your first house. Okay. So when Jupiter again enters the first house, it's like saying one cycle comes to an end. Because every 12 years it will come back to the same sign because for one year it transits one sign. So now is the time that you need to clear the baggage. So suppose you are having some kind of an addiction for any a, anything. Now is the time to try to give it up because now you will obtain the blessings. And because of that you will feel that I can very easily give this up. Okay. And if you are planning to make some investments, this is the time you can do. If you are planning to go abroad, to Cambridge, to Oxford, to MIT, or to any other place, even if you are in North India and you are planning to go to South India, then also this is a very good time because that is also foreign land in one way. North, South, South, North. Yes. So if you are planning to join some new spiritual group monasteries, if you are planning to start seclusion, meditation, there by going to some secret place you can do that if you are planning to take some trips to unknown places is the best time you can do that okay and because it is also the ruler of your fourth house so whenever the fourth lord will transit the houses like uh, eighth house or the twelfth house then it is also a very good time to delve deep into matters of education yes now is the time to do great research so whatever you are having in life Think what are the things that you need now. Okay. And in this one year, you try to either increase them or try to get rid of those things. Suppose you know that there are some toxic people in your life who always keep pulling you down. Then this is the time that you cut off yourself from those people. And suppose you know that there are some people who you need to keep in your life because they enrich your life. Then this is the best time to develop our connections with those people. Okay. And apart from that, it is also the house where we can invest in certain areas depending on the dasha and depending on other things. If if your chart is supporting that, then you can always do investments. Okay. And during this one year transit, it uh, you might feel that you don't want to mingle too much with people. You want to stay away. You want to stay secluded. And that's very good. You should stay like that. Okay. If you are feeling like that. So if you want to not mingle with people for one year be a bit introvert or oh, sorry ex uh, yes introvert then that's fine you can be like that only for one year 
and then again when jupiter enters your first house by the end of 2019 fantastic it will be again you will again become very lively and you will again want to see this universe okay there you go so these were the predictions which i gave for the 12 signs and ultimately what happens will be dependent on your dasha and the other planetary transits and the grace of god and your own efforts remember that okay so i have made many other videos in my channel regarding the transits and spirituality and astrology in general if you have not watched them then please go and watch it okay and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website you will find the link of my website in the description of the video below okay until next time wish you good luck next time we will see when jupiter transits into the sign of sagittarius okay bye bye may god bless all of us you and me tata -ta.